Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I'm gonna be, be bringing you some really big bags um, from the Sonoma line. Uh, the more I, I guess, collect, purchase, the more I get to know Vintage Coach, the more in love I become with this vintage pebbled leather. Um, it is not the same as the pebbled leather that exists now. And it's just, it has this, I love glove tan leather. I think we all do if we're into coach, right? Vintage coach. But there's something about the Sonoma line. I, I fall more and more in love with it all the time. So we're going to talk about some big bags. And I don't know if you can tell, these are not the same bag. They look really similar though. They practically have the same name. They don't have the same style number. So we're going to talk about that. And I'm also going to compare them to the duffel sack because uh, these are duffel sacks, essentially. Let's see. What are they called? Yep, sort of. They're not duffel sacks, but they look like it, don't they? Uh, let's talk about this one first. This is... Uh, a periwinkle, by the way, this is the color periwinkle, which is this like winkle, which is like this bluish purple color. This particular bag was new in the spring of 1997, and it is a 4927 Sonoma Soft Bucket in natural grain. Um, and why natural grain is particular to it, because a different style number of the same bag exists in New Book, which is that soft pebbly, typically that soft, um, velvety leather, right? So I have this, I have it stuffed because otherwise these bags, just like the duffel sack, they just collapse, which is great for like storing and traveling because you get this huge bag and yeah, it will full compact and not mess with the leather at all. So that's a really great feature, but they do collapse. So unless you have them full, if you set them down, they're going to go. <laughs> We'll put her on here. This is, I mean, look how big this bag is. And guys, this is not the biggest one. <laughs> the black bag is bigger. Isn't that crazy? I guess not by much, but here she is. The strap is um, adjustable and it's, uh, I think it's a 39 inch adjustable strap. Let's see, I would probably want it a little bit larger. I love a Sonoma leather. Found another um, SLG Sonoma like case uh, that's different from the other two that I have. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. Uh, yeah, but love them. This is the 4927 Sonoma Soft Bucket Natural Grain in the color Periwinkle. So this is what the bottom of this one looks like. As you can see, there's this little bit of piping. It's a square bottom. I don't know what's in here. Maybe people say there's cardboard and bags like this. I'm not really sure. For the Sonoma bags, what I do anyways is I care for them differently. Um, even if they're really dirty, I'm gonna, the lining, cause you know, all Sonoma bags are lined. They have that black lining. Let's go ahead and take this out so I can just show you real quick. I have a towel in here. Um, they all have this lining which is this like straight black on black lining. Okay, there's a pocket in here. Um, but they all have that lining and so as you could see, I could pull it all the way out. So I clean that separately, wash it, and then I clean the leather. Um, whether, and usually it's just surface cleaning. You know, you can use Lexol, um, saddle soap, whatever, if necessary. Sometimes just a conditioner that also cleans is all that's necessary for these bags. So that's how I do it for the natural grain. Um, you see how it collapses and there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't like wrinkle the leather. It doesn't, doesn't do anything that's detrimental to it. It's just really, really great. That bag was huge and look how small it is now. Um, okay, but yeah, you see that bottom. Guys, when I got this black bag, when I purchased it, I thought I was purchasing the same thing as this periwinkle bag. And ironically, that periwinkle bag sold. Um, that's why I'm doing this video. That's typically how I decide to do videos. I'm like, oh, I sold the bag. I need to, I need to do a video on it before it leaves my possession. But 
that sold and um, I got this in the mail the same day and I thought that was funny and I thought it was the same bag and then I looked a little bit more closely. It was a style number that threw me off. I was like, wait a second, that's not the same style number. This is a 4916. 4916, again, practically it's the same name, soft bucket and natural grain. They also had this bag and new buck, a different style number. Isn't that crazy? As you can see, the line's the same. They both have the zipper. I guess I didn't point that out before, but there's that top zipper with that little typical Sonoma coach tag. Their straps are the same, the way they're attached to the bag here on the side. Um, let's see, adjustable strap. Uh, it, this, it seems to be the same size. I'm gonna say it's 39 inches. Actually, the catalog photo didn't say that. Um, and I didn't measure. Ah! I'm working with cheap equipment here. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. Oh my gosh. Look how big this bag is. Let's do a crossbody. This is going to carry everything. Sonoma leather is not, um, it's not lightweight. I wouldn't consider it lightweight at all. It's not the heaviest, but it's definitely not a lightweight line. So, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. It flips like a multi-day. You can put multiple days worth of clothes in here okay so i showed you all the similarities here's the difference look at the bottom it's this like i don't even know what you would call that this lovely swooping bottom there's no like piping around it it's all just sewn together to create this kind of like what do you call that anyone know you see what i'm saying so it doesn't technically have a bottom like this guy so, I said this one's bigger. It is a little bit bigger. The 4927, and all of these are going to have, because they were made after 1994, they are all going to have um, your uh, style number in it, okay? So, you're not going to have to necessarily guess. But not everybody posts pictures of creeds, which I don't necessarily recommend you buying, but the more you get used to it, you might um, recognize an authentic versus a not authentic or having great chances of being authentic without a creed picture and it's a great price and you wanna just get it real quick, right? That's how I get a lot of stuff, actually. It's that studying that knowledge that I've gained um, and therefore I'm able to pick up bags that maybe other people can't be sure about um, or too sure, you know, uh, because, you know, put a lot of time into researching them. But um, anyways, so the style number will be on the bag, so you can figure it out eventually. But the 4927, the size is 15 inches by 13 by eight. Now a duffel sack, let me put this on real quick, is 10 by 13 by nine. Probably one of the most popular bags that Coach ever made. It was also probably the longest running bag that Coach ever made, like it was, Pre-creed, you know, you can find them with metal tags. You can find them with just a little coach stamp. This bag was made a very long time ago um, and continue to be made. Uh, so I would say, call this, yeah, the longest running coach bag for sure. But this is the popular double sack and this is what it looks like on. And it has that, you know, gloved tan leather. There we go. Um, the strap is adjustable, but it's not sewn in. It's actually removable. And this is the longest setting. So I don't consider this a great crossbody um, bucket. Not that you can't do it, but this is like coming up to my boobs, as you can see. Um, so yeah, if you really like a crossbody, one of these Sonomas are probably the better way to go because your strap is so much longer and will work better for that. But, so like I said, that is a 10 by 13 by nine. So slightly smaller than this one, which is a 15 by 13 by eight. And this guy is a 17 by 15 by eight and a half. Massive. There we go. So you saw the duffel sack. That style number is 9085, by the way, if you were curious. You might find that with a random registration number though. Um, because they made it for a very long time. Um, let's see. This is, again, 49.27 Sonoma Soft Bucket Natural Grain. Here's another Sonoma Line Soft 
bucket natural grain, but this one is style 4916 and a little bit larger. I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up um, if you did and subscribe to my channel for some more vintage coach bag talks uh, and just some more tips and whatever I decide to talk about. I am not done with the Madison collection. Just thought I wanted to, you know, change it up a little bit, but I have a lot more Madison bags to bring you. So I'm going to continue that series. Uh, this was just to maybe throw in a little something different. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.